I'm about to do a bad thing to you. I'm about to make you feel bad for scammers. That's because this morning we got the news that Filipino authorities rescued over 600 people from a scamming center that were forced into the industry, with reportedly most being Filipino, followed by Chinese and then other foreign nationals. And after speaking with the victims, police found that they were generally tricked into the industry with promises of getting these amazing jobs, but then forced to stay at the facility and scam people all over the globe. With the most common things that they did being various crypto and love scams. They're pretty much they'd pose online as people interested in finding love, find a mark, slowly build up that trust, and then convince them to invest in various business opportunities with cash or crypto. And as far as how the police actually figured all this out, it's because one of these guys, a Vietnamese man, managed to escape after climbing a tall wall and running to a nearby farm. And they knew pretty instantly that this wasn't a bullshit story because there were clear signs of torture all over his body. So following that, police raided the compound and found plenty of guns and ammunition alongside stories of past victims who tried to escape but were caught. And what's really crazy and sad is this is hardly the only case of this happening. Or just last year, Filipino authorities rescued over a thousand people who were forced into scam work. 